so hello welcome and uh, today i'm going to show you one project is called trap booking and it's a demo video for that video or uh, for that project so it's a simple jsp and servlet project and in the, the back end it's using mysql so as you know as an ide we use uh, the trap book uh, like a uh, mysql workbench so here we have a uh, trap booking database in this mysql workbench and we have four table like user table and uh, trap and manage trap and the booking okay so uh, for example if you have that project and, and if you're gonna take this project and gonna ch check this uh, user view table so just right click on the table click here and you will get this right this table data so let's run the project and uh, to run that project we are using tomcat as always so i'm just going to right click on the project so this is a step where we can run the project so just right click on the root file of that project go to run as select on a run on server and select the server from here as a tomcat as i did and click on the finish automatically it will redirect over here in your browser Whatever the browser you are selecting from your uh, ID, so in my case, it's selected as a Chrome by default. Also, you can change it from here. Okay, so uh, it's using MVC architecture. Before I dive into directly into the demo, just uh, talk about some bit about the technologies and the tools that we are using. Okay, so be, it's using MEV, uh, MVC architecture, so you can see the model package and the controller package and the bean and also it's uh, following the MVC architecture. Also, it's using Maven tool to manage the dependency. Also, using uh, Java version 1.8 and the Tomcat 8.5. So it's already deployed over the browser, and here is the front page and. Uh, this is the home page, so we have options like home and sign up and sign in. So let's say I'm gonna sign in into the application. So let's check the database and understand the role uh, sign in roles in the application. So for the sign in, we have two types of user. The first one will be the admin, and the second is a existing user or customer. You can say that's going to book a trough in your application. So just check the user table in the database if you notice there in the role id column we have two types of users uh, like role id 1 and role id 2 so consider role id 1 always will be treated as an admin so this is the first record in the database which assign the role id 1 will treat as an admin and the other users will assign as a role id 2 so these are the end user so let's log in as an user admin and understand the functionality of admin what admin can perform in the application so here we have a username and here we have password so i'm going to click on the uh, like user admin ad, admin 123 and the password is admin at the admin 123 so i'm going to enter it and click on the sign in button when i click on the sign in button it will redirect me again to the home page but you notice the welcome page is coming here so when admin can view the user so when admin going to click on the view user so this page will appear the user list and we have different options here so you can say like admin can search the any user by his name so let's say i'm gonna search by name and click on search the data is filtered similarly when you click on the reset again data will come and if you want to search by gmail id so you can say this just enter the id and search so search is also working there and we have button previous and next so this button will be enabled once the uh, record will reach under 10 <coughs> about 10 okay so other option what a user can uh, admin can perform so admin can perform operation over to add and delete the trap and also we have an option for the admin to manage the trap and the view bookings so like <clears throat> you can see here under the booking it's showing the currently bookings and when i click on this let me log in it again okay my internet is not connected now so make sure we are using some javascript code and make sure where you are operating, operating this the internet is connected so <coughs> the libraries will <coughs> download it on the browser uh, correctly 
So now if I click on the add in, on, on the truff section, so we have two options add truff or uh, truff list. So when you click on the truff list, it will display the existing truff in the <coughs> database. Here again we have option to search by name and search by location. So for this example, we have a single location. Let's add a new truff and then perform the search operation. So as an admin, I can add a truff. So we can say test truff <coughs> location. Let's say Popal. And I'm going to enter some description here and I'll choose a file. So let's say I just navigate to my dashboard and I choose a file. Let's say I'm going to choose this file. <clears throat> so I'm using some dummy image you should choose hearing some meaningful images so when I click on the save the data is saved successfully now if you go and truff list and check the data will display here so <clears throat> in case if you want to edit the record we have a button here so you can edit the record let's say I'm gonna change the description so this is for testing let's say testing so when I click on now you notice the file is not chosen so when you click on the save button it says image is required so you have to when in edit case you have to upload that image again so let's say I select the same image and click on the save now data is updated <coughs> and when you click the truff list the description is there now for example if you want to delete the record you can just click on this um, like checkbox and click on the delete button it will delete the record let's say let's perform an operation so i'm going to select this record and i'm going to delete it so data is deleted successfully now you can see only two records are there in the database now we have added a, uh, one truff now let's assign a truff or book a truff so we have other other section other module which is called manage truff under the manage truff you can check the truff name so recently we added the truff test truff so we select it and uh, um, select a time let's say i'm going to enter a time as a 12 pm and enter the price for example i say 5000 select the status available or unavailable so it's obviously it's a new so it's available so i'm going to click on save so data is saved successfully now we can check the list of managed truff so you can say <coughs> this is updated as available also you can update the status by editing this also here we have a searching operation so we can search accordingly and in the same manner that will work as a delete and other thing so here we have uh, one uh, truff available at the 12 right view bookings these are the history of data like uh, the previous tested data so right now uh, there is a six record i will just book the truff by user and show you again we have under the booking section we have a name option uh, to let's say i'm going to search a user uh, a truck by its location so by name let's say it's by name let's filter the data and by username also i can perform search operation here so when i perform search operation my user display the filter data now let's log on as admin also for the admin we have option my profile change password and log out so when you click on the log out it's logged out from the user and let's say you are a new user and going to sign up in the application so let's say enter some data here so enter the wait, let's say demo user demo user and the password is username let's say demo123 and the password is demo at the rate to three and the email id and the confirm password again demo at the rate to three the email id is demo at the rate gmail.com and the mobile number i'm going to enter some dummy 10 digit number okay so two four eight ninety okay so gender and the address so i'm going to just enter some dummy data here and it's asked for the profile picture or something so you can select any image so let's say I'm going to select any other image. Let's say I'm going to this image. Click on the sign up button. The user is registered successfully. Now, if I check my database list, currently it has three records. And when I refresh it, the new record is there in the database. So I, now I can, as a user, log in with username, this username and this password. So let's use this username. Click again on the sign in button and use this username and this password 
and click on sign in. Now, <coughs> this uh, user is logged in and you can see the name here. Again, when you click on the check trough, so it will get the list of all the available troughs. And when we click on the check ability, so it's available right now. So again, we have an option to book trough. So I'm going to select that trough name uh, that we recently added is displaying here and select that slot. So I select that slot 12 and uh, also let's say date. So Let's say also today. So let's say 2001 20, 20, 20, 20. We're gonna save. So enter the payment and card holder name the month. So it's using some dummy payment uh, gateway. So let's just dummy. It's using dummy payment dummy payment page. So traffic booked successfully. Under the history section, user can check his booking and here it is. And now, if you see, uh, let's log in by admin again and check the manage the truff list and it's unavailable now because it's uh, booked in the particular slot. So let's say, again manage this and select the time 12 p.m. to to 00, 00 pm let's say price available submit so here it's available now also you can update the record you can delete the record so admin has all the access so that's all about this project and uh, let's say when i click home i should disclose some image because there is a slider so when i click on this it will automatically loads in new images so thank you this is the all about the demo uh, about this project in case in case you need the source code or if you are looking for the uh, this kind of project you can contact on the description box so it will be easy for us uh, to contact you and we are also providing the remote support so in case you stuck or you face any issue in the application you will connect by zoom and it is can some other tools so it will be helpful to you to run that project so you can check the detail in the description box uh, you can contact over the detail and get it thank you